Hey guys, welcome to this episode of the Sandcap Guide podcast. On this episode, we're going to be talking about questions that we've come across frequently on uh, all different forums, all different platforms and things that we've been asked. And we thought we'd just go over a couple and clear some of them up. Far away, Max. Is it? Right. Uh, who's got the questions I here? Think Max well, has before the we get started, today. I just want to let everyone listening know we have started a new Facebook group for Sanibel and Captiva called the Sanibel, Sanibel and Captiva Islands, Florida. So we just like to share our sunset pictures, our island favorites, and stuff like that, and just have a place for everyone to talk about the islands together. So, yeah, we'd love to have this. as many of you join as possible. And please. So, once again, it's. Sanibel and Captiva Islands. Yeah, let's put it up on the screen um, and then uh, tell your friends about it. Uh, oh, we'll put it in the links in the description below. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say. Uh, tell your friends about it and please come along and join in. And uh, Yeah, because we want to join the island together because they are literally separated by one little By about bridge. Yeah, 50 feet. Right. Yeah, well, exactly. I would say more than 50 feet. How, I don't know. How long is the blind pass bridge, do you think, Nick? I would say should, we, should I look it up for sake of argument? <laughs> should I look it right. up for sake of argument? I, I, would, I would include it in today's trivia, Max. How long is the blind pass bridge? All right. I was let, me, let me ask my first question, and I'm going to return with my answer while you guys discuss. Okay. Ask the first question. So I saw this a few times, and I think... We obviously have an answer to this question, but we also have some great stories pertaining to this question. So I wanted to ask, um, somebody said, is biking on the beaches allowed? And the answer to that is categorically yes. yes. But uh, everybody would have you believe that, uh, well, it's, it's the, the, the thing is that all the rental companies don't want people riding their bikes on the beach because it does ruin them. If you get the sand kicks up, it gets into the gears, it gets into the chains, and it wears them out really quickly. So, if you rent a bike from any of the local bike shops, you are not allowed to take that bike onto the beach. Yeah, and um, they, they make it sound like it is an island rule, but it's not. It's a rental bike rule. Um, so, if you have your own bicycle, absolutely, you can ride it on the beach. And during COVID and during the shutdown, that was how this channel was formed by me going up and down the the beaches on a bike with a drone and camera gear. So absolutely you can ride bikes on the beach it's yeah. not it's not uh, it's always a we see the question asked a lot and a lot of the times people answer with the incorrect answer um the, they'll say yeah, no you're banned from riding on the beach it's not true right it has to be it, it, a non-motorized <coughs> bike mm -hmm. it cannot be power pedal assist or what is that what you call it uh they say non-motorized but i don't know if they although they've narrowed down the bylaws for all the the pathways of being under 250 watts i think it is or under a certain um miles per hour but the, the, i don't think they've actually narrowed it down for the beach ordinance it just says um non-powered so right so a pedal bike is allowed on the beach yep that's and true so how yes however it is not the easiest ride Unless you're right by the, the water. The only place to ride it is literally inches from the water, which is another reason why it's not good for your bike. So if ever you do it, because the closer you are to the water, the more chance you've got of uh, of keeping the momentum going. But that does mean that your bike's getting salt water on it as well. So Right. And, and we have the, fat, well, the one of the fat tire bikes too. And that's still Max. not easy. Yeah, Max just rode it We're to Silver Key the other Silver day. Silver Key from Bowman's Beach. Yeah. yeah. I mean, in, also if you're at a, at a busy beach it's impossible because that that strip of land is taken up by pedestrians walking back and forth so right Kids so you are allowed to bike it is not always the most enjoyable i love no. it i think it's great but like max says you got to pick your times like yeah. around the lighthouse point would not be a good spot because of all the shallows and all the rest of it right. up towards yeah. bowman's all around there you could go all day long yeah i mean i went to um but uh like we said i went from bowman's beach to silver key i took there's Which actually a bike path. a mile i think yeah i took the bike path which goes about halfway that's not actually on the beach and that's right. a fine it's ride. not really a bike path it's a it's a shared the, use right. path which shared part of the shared use is with biking but right. um uh you get off there at the end of that and then i had to go all the way but is it i had just, to go it's on the hard, hard sand. Pack sand right the the path it's not a paved path no no hard pack sand but then once that ends you get on the by that point, there's really no one on the beach because you're so far from any public parking. Right. And then I had no problem going on the, the hard packs end. Okay, cool. Okay, what's the next question, Max? All right. 
so this is a question that has some obvious answers. Um, I'll tell you why in a minute, but what are the best times to cross the bridge in and out to avoid traffic? And I say obvious answers because the only time you're going to avoid traffic is like midnight or right. it, during season. Right. Well, I'm no, going to defer yeah, to, to you, Nick, because you are yeah. coming and going constantly from the island. So early morning is going to be really busy from about 7.30 on till about 9.30. Uh, 10 o'clock in the or we're talking about peak peak season now so 9 30 10 o'clock um is going to be really busy um which you, includes workers coming to the island and day, all the day workers day trippers mainly workers at that time of day before 7 30 a.m it's pretty quiet yeah 6 30 a.m sunrise around there it's, there's no traffic at all yeah we have a friend that does uh delivery uh, rental equipment and he will come out like at five in the morning just to avoid the traffic uh, d- and who's that? That's uh, Happy Baby Rentals. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, and basically, so if you go after about 10 now in the peak season when it's uh, that Christmas week in between Christmas and New Year, uh, the gloves are off. It could be busy all day long, but m- a majority of the time it's quieter. Then in the afternoon, uh, it starts getting busier about four o'clock. It, it will start getting backed up to get off the island. Unless you have a earlier rain, like if you have a rain about three o'clock, then it will be backed up from them because not only are all the people leaving the beach all at once, but the island workers that are doing grass work and outdoor work, they're all leaving too. They're not going to stick around if it's raining and close to the end of the day. So if you get a late or an early afternoon shower, it will be busy right after that and then uh, through till six o'clock. Um, I hate to say it, but yeah. but normally, <laughs> it, you know, a normal busy day would be probably around four o'clock to six o'clock, six right. p.m. in and, the afternoon. And then you have the sunset time too is affected by this time of year. You get to see a lot of traffic. The yeah. sun doesn't set around eight. So right I, I call it the sunset. The sunset posse. Basically, if you leave um, Captiva Annie Ross Lane at the sunset, the sunset, so you get in your car. You're going to be in a line of about 100 to 100 plus cars that are all doing exactly what you're doing. They've watched the sunset and they're going to leave the island. So even though sunset right now isn't until sort of 8.20, um, it, it will just be from 8.20 to well, there'll be a long line of traffic going off the island at that time for a short period of time. Right. And the Sand Cap Road is, what is it, 30 or 35? 35. So yeah. the Sand Cap Road is 35. But for some strange reason, there are some people that can't manage to do 35. So there might be uh, uh, somebody doing 20, 25, and there's really not anywhere to pass. So that dictates the speed of that 10 mile stretch of road so, so you just put on a podcast and <laughs> relax, Chill and relax yeah. Yeah. right so what if you were a family coming so to the after island saying all that yeah, yeah. when Where, is a good time come? to come well a good time to come is any time you want i mean it's worth the wait you know, what you, what, how long you wait in, in if you come at nine o'clock in the morning when it's really busy it could extend your your trip by five minutes it could extend your trip by 30 minutes but either way it's still worth coming so i agree it's not it's not so bad that you uh that that you shouldn't come um but when you come off the island that's a different story it's normally a lot heavier traffic coming off uh so i would uh, i would stick around have dinner on the island and then and then leave after that we have Um, so many restaurants to choose from so. yeah and if you've paid to come on the island and you paid the ten dollar toll to get on the island why not just ten when did nine. you go to ten? Oh, is it nine nine no <laughs> what is it well it's six right now oh it's six but it's yeah. going up it's going to nine we, we, it's going to nine but we only uh, if you don't have a transponder okay we have a transponder which is why there's a confusion because i don't actually pay anything because my car goes through the toll booth but thank yeah. you for that correction mother yeah thanks <laughs> i don't want everybody freaking out thinking it's ten dollars well it's nine plus tax it's not nine. it, it will be, be in two months no it will october only if you don't have it if you have a these are visitors they don't have yeah. transponders if you have a sun pass or any of the any of the passes georgia peach pass any of those read our blog post about tra- uh, about tolls on our website and you can right. find out got it <laughs> need to be correct uh, okay so yeah so anyway um if you've paid to come on the island let's see will you let that go yeah if you've paid to come on the island then you might as well just have dinner here and then you won't have to deal with the traffic right. coming off. and if you're um staying on the island for the week 
Yeah, leave do your, your shopping car. during the middle of the day if you go run around and just right. leave your get car. Get a bike. Yeah. Jump on the bike path, go to Bailey's, get your groceries, and then right. head back. Yeah. Well worth it. All right. So another question. Restaurants, somebody asked about restaurants that are on the waterfront that also serve liquor. So we have a whole list of waterfront restaurants. Um, we even have a PDF, I think, on our website. We do. That has them all listed. I'm not sure which ones exactly sell liquor, um, but we do know which restaurants are on the waterfront. Yes, we do. So starting at the... So did they say the beachfront or the just on the water? They said w- waterfront. I'm not sure ah. if Grandma Dots has uh, a, a liquor license. I'm not sure about that. I would suspect it's probably beer and wine. Um, Can you look that up, Max? Yeah. Let's see. And then uh, I think uh, then it would be Sanibel Inn. Uh, would that be next? Yeah. Sanibel Inn, uh, they have a liquor they license. Sanibel have. definitely has a liquor license. Yeah, I actually went co- there. Great cocktails. Yeah. We I go there with my friends when we pull up on the boat and get a daiquiri or something. Mm-hmm. And that's always a great time. So they, they definitely have a great spot. Same with Sundial. They definitely do. Right. Uh, we're missing one in between. Coconuts, which Co- is at Cassia Bell. Coconuts definitely does. Definitely has some they daiquiris. Great, some, some great uh, mixed drinks there. Right. Um, I think pretty much all of them. I can't think of one that doesn't, to be honest. Um, but I can't say for sure. The, only, the Grandma Dots is the only one I'm not sure you're about. You're questioning yeah. Grandma Dots. If you had to pick your favorite waterfront restaurant, can you say... Um, no. if, if I was going to go for a fancy meal, yeah, or whatever. If you're going for a fancy meal, if you want to drink, whatever. I don't think so. I don't think you can actually say because there's so many. There's different things for different. I mean, if you're going to sit by a beach bar, then I'd say the Sanibel Inn. But if you're going to sit by a pool, then it would be Coconuts, which is at Cassia Bell. Right, gonna, and then there's the West Wind Inn. The West Wind Inn is great for happy hour. That's just a great right. all round because there's there's a raised. Uh, up bar so it's above the pool so you can kind of it's a great view yeah. you can see the pool and then there's a great view of the gulf and, and then if you want to view just straight out of the water then sundial is hard to beat as is thistle lodge and and the, sundial has lots of activity so there's always something to see and and then the you got resort. you can't forget you know mad hatter you know so um i mean they're, they're all good for different reasons i wouldn't i would do not like to say yeah one and place. sunset grill too Sunset Grill, yeah. Yeah, right. and Grandma Dots does not have a liquor license, All by right. the way. Okay, well, there's, so the, we know that. there's the answer. There yep. we go, wine and beer. And we did have Troy in the other week. I don't know if you saw that episode, and he, he does think that Lazy Flamingo is right. It has a view of the water, so that... that he, he counts it as waterfront. Right. It right. definitely has a waterfront view. Yeah. Um, so our next question is where to get bike rentals. Sorry, that was the Lazy up in um, Santiva, not the one on Periwinkle. Uh, where to get bike rentals. So there's two major bike rental right, places on Bailey's the island. and Finnemore's. And Bailey's is the very first one big bike to. store on the right on Periwinkle, the first one you come to. Correct. And then and they have a second a location up by uh, Bailey's in the same uh, Bailey's Plaza. There's his second location. Which is close to where Finnemore's is as well. And uh, they're actually next to Spoon Drift. One of our sponsors is uh, Billy's has a second location. It's, right. in the, it's in the Bailey's Shopping Plaza right there. So um, right next door to Spoon Drift. So right. yeah. easy. And, and if you're coming for the day, it is the way to go. Jump on the bikes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And tour the way island. to see everything. Yeah. There's and 26 that, miles, I think, of paths that you can traverse. And they, they and both places are not just bikes either. I mean, they've got every sort of um, bike, you know, weird recumbent tandems or, or tandems or tow alongs or they've even got you know uh, paddle boards, kayaks. I mean, there's, it's not just bikes. They got they have a ton of right. rental stuff. So. And they do have the Surrey's where you see people with four. Yeah, the Surrey people. bikes. Yeah, yeah. The Surrey good for bikes. a family. Why, why, yeah. the, just a word of warning about the Surrey's. We do. See, we, we're right on Periwinkle Way, and we see a lot of people leaving Billy's. And we also see a lot of people turning around, pushing those things back. So just a word of warning. The kids <laughs> love it because they get to sit in the front and enjoy it. And the but, parents are But the problem is they, they stop pedaling after a while and the parents are left to uh, pedal this big heavy thing. And uh, we see as many coming back in tears as we do. Going <laughs> no, not, not in tears. But, uh, <laughs> no. I'm, I'm, I'm just, you're, you're being negative. 
But they, another secondary question to that was, do they deliver to the resorts? I'm pretty sure they will drop your bikes off at the resort you're staying, won't they? I'm Absolutely. Sure they yeah, yeah. They, yeah, for sure. They'll drop you wherever you're staying. Yeah, yeah. it's actually kind of cool to see that because they have um, pickup trucks and they load those bikes in. I don't know if you see them going down Periwinkle, just stacked with bikes that they drop off. Really? I'm not sure how they get them all in there. Yeah. Um, just don't ride them on the beach. Correct. Do not ride a rental bike on the beach. And then, all right, so our last question, this, uh, it was literally copied word for word. So um, I'll read it to you. I'm coming to the island soon and, ex- and ex- I'm excited for a relaxed trip. I am concerned my children may get bored not having all the shops and all. Can you give us some tips and places to take them? So this is obviously someone that hasn't been here uh, very frequently because I think there is a plethora of places to shop on the island. Absolutely. Yeah, um, we have surf shops that the kids would love. I'm not sure how old the kids are, but if they're teenagers, there's several surf shops. I'm sure they would love to. Well, there's there's quick. probably there's lots of individual shops, and there's also a few different shopping centers right on the east end of the island. You've got a small group of shops that's right by the Lighthouse Cafe, and then moving on to uh, Jerry's Supermarket. There's uh, that's surrounded by. I guess you could call that the anchor store and then there's uh, probably another 10 stores around it that has all beach stuff and ice creams and stuff like that um and then you go further along and probably the most popular one is called uh, periwinkle place which is on the left hand side and you skip tahitian uh, yeah i skip tahitian, tahitian yeah. as well which is cheeburger 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 and the sanibel cafe two places you can't miss yeah um, uh cheeburger we had don last week her who uh started cheeburger that's right her, help start chi burger yeah mm-hmm. and tishan has a, a ton of stores that you can go into yeah great little jewelry stores and mum and pop stores and uh it's Everything. a great little plaza and then yeah. going on from there then you've got actually a small little uh place where eileen fishers is and ace hardware and another restaurant and then you've got periwinkle place and and then we forgot the and you have the villages we haven't got to the villages oh, yeah. but yeah the, vi- the, the village shops the village stopped. shops and, and that's where macintosh on is macintosh the books, books and shout out to macintosh books and priscilla's is in there and coco y cabana and why not then why not i think it's been there for 20 plus years and then bailey's plaza has a lot of stores uh, ice cream spoon well. drift. ice cream uh, yogurt and uh, yeah stuff like that and then the last one probably would be the one at the very end of periwinkle which would be old sanibel shops old sanibel shops that has a few shops in there maybe four uh, six or seven shops maybe eight shops mm-hmm. uh, and then not forgetting captiva of course you've got the Santa, uh, the captiva general store and then going to the end all the way by um it's called uh, chadwick's chadwick's Square. there's quite a few shops there so there really is something for everyone i think the the most popular out of all of them is probably periwinkle place it's the largest i would say the largest definitely the largest so um but the original uh, chico's there the original chico's yeah it's got it's a really cool vibe about it as well you walk in through the uh, tropical trees and all the rest of it it's not a typical shopping center yeah so in conclusion there's no way your, your kids will ever run out of something to do here if you take them to the right spots there's right. so many well, you're talking about shopping. shopping you were talking yeah, about shopping. shops or just any, uh, yeah she and she then there's shops, some independent sure. ones like the the antique store is super cool that yep. it's not in a plaza jeans books is a freaking maze of books right jeans books what else there's a we have a t-shirt shop well, I mean, it would be impossible to name them all, but there's tons and tons of stores. But they're so, I was just saying, not just those plazas. There's little shops dotted here and there that actually aren't joined in plazas to right. check oh, out, too. I want to go back to Periwinkle Place again, too, yeah. because it also, if you are taking young kids, it does have a playground. That's and true. I think yeah. there is a toy store there. Yeah, yeah, there's a toy store there. I remember going there when I was a kid. That was my favorite. Yeah. But I, last time I was there, the playground was shut for COVID, but... That should be changing soon. Right. I think we're all past that. Thank yeah. goodness. So, and are, Jerry's. Don't forget the birds at Jerry's. Birds at Jerry's. The kids love the birds at Jerry's. And adults too. And adults do too. Yeah. <laughs> we, love, we love to see them. And adults. The birds. Yeah. Just watching people watch the birds is quite insane in itself. It is funny. All right. I think that's all the questions we have for this episode. Okay. Um, trivia. Ooh. Before we go, we have some trivia. All right. So this was an idea given to me by, by mom, I must admit. I know she doesn't have a distinct advantage. This is so 
is corrupt. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go again. I feel um, like we've been bamboozled. But it was a good idea. So I, I think we have some good questions. So you ran here. with it. I ran with it. Okay. Um, okay. I, I think I'll come up with some good questions for you next week. <laughs> <laughs> so this is uh, our friends at Three Crafty Ladies have a quite creative catchphrase in So Sanibel. It's a you know a double uh, double entendre okay. so it's, it's like sewing and so it's so Sanibel S E W Sanibel creative super cute and uh, so I've compiled some other island catchphrases to see if you can guess where they come from Ooh, okay so we have three um, if there's a tie I have a fourth we'll ask you the fourth one anyway but um, we'll start with number one is everyone ready We're I'm ready. ready. I can't Dad, wait. Dad, you look defeated before you've started. Uh, uh, I know where this is going. Laurie suggested the questions. Come on, let's go. I'm, I'm, Number I can, one. I'm, I can hold my own. Okay, go. This restaurant claims to have utterly great food. Oh, I know that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Has everyone got it? Yeah. You can only write one answer, Dad. As we've told you <laughs> we don't every episode pictures. prior. Okay. All right, we're ready. Nick, what did you put? Island cow with uh, the little cow next to it. Island cow. Ding, ding, ding. Ding. One, I, one. I think that was our easiest one. Okay. But these might all, you guys might go three for three on these ones. All right. Let's see. Number two. The character on the logo of this Periwinkle Way spot exclaims, exclaims, oh boy, as he digs into one of their signature dishes. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> Is that a hint? No, it's what it says. He says, "Oh boy." I don't know. Uh, all right, I don't know. Oh boy! Oh boy! Uh, okay, what is it? What do you got, Dad? Snappers hots. That's right, <laughs> Mom. Uh, <laughs> I thought you said Periwinkle oh, Place. Oh, no, oh, oh, Periwinkle oh, Way. Now, now the excuses start coming out. <laughs> oh no, oh, no being no, beaten so at her own. What did you write? You, t- you can't. No. What did you write? What did you write? I thought you said Periwinkle Place, so I put Blue Giraffe. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> All right. Notice the, the. Did you see the excuse meter just going off? <laughs> ding 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 ding. Excuses. <laughs> All right. Two, one. Number three. You may not want to step foot in this spot. As they said to me, we're all mad here. Say that again? You may not want to step foot in this spot. As they said to me, we're all mad here. All right. (laughs) Uh, you guys can say it together. Do you? You guys both must have it. I put Mad Hatter. I put Mad Hatter. Okay. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh! All right. So I, I think Dad takes home the win here. Wow! Yeah. I, I put. Well, don't be surprised. Oh. Thank you. Three, three, uh, three, two, for Dad. But uh, here's the tiebreaker question, just because I already wrote it. Okay. We'll see if Mom can uh, tie it up. It won't be tied up because I've already taken it. This local diner with quick food and desserts slogan was happy taste good until it changed in 2019 to fan food, not fast food. Say that again? From this local diner with quick food and desserts slogan was is happy taste good until it was changed in 2019 from fan food, not fast food. I... So what it is happy put? taste good, but in tw- prior to 2019, it was fan food, not fast food. What did you put? I put the grill timbers. I put cheeseburger, cheeseburger. You said that you're diner. both wrong. It's what? it's Dairy Queen. Oh. Oh, wow! <laughs> oh. It's local. Um. Uh. Mm. It's it it's about a hundred yards out our door. It is, and it's locally owned, so we support them. Yes, go Dairy Queen. <laughs> All right. Happy taste good. Happy taste good. Good for them. So that's I think the whole company wide changed to. 
Happy tastes good. Happy. What does that mean? Happy tastes good. Well, it means that eating will make you happy. Huh. Okay. It's who knows corporate branding. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think that's all we have for you today. Fantastic. Well done, Nick. Oh, thank you. Your first win. Thank you. No, it was oh, my second, second win. Actually, second win. thank you. Was it? Yes, it was. Thank we you. should have a, a a record counter that pops up at the end of every episode. I yeah, we I should. think we're good. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're good. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us on this uh, very special episode of uh, FAQs. FAQs, and uh, thanks. It's for actually joining title. Us. Our title is uh, "Everything You Need to Know About Sanibel." Okay. Part two. Part, Part two. two. Everything you need to know about Sanibel. You heard it from Max first. And Captiva. And Captiva. Captiva. That's what I said. And then don't forget to check out the Facebook group. It'll be in the description below. Uh, it's up to 570 members, I think, in the first 24 hours. 500. Uh, Oh, 500. Okay. And um, I'm sure it'll be a lot more by the time this podcast comes out. Uh, but please join us, join in the conversation and um, help people that are coming to visit. We want to see people participating and sharing their local knowledge. So please do come along and join the join the fun. All right. I want to thank our sponsors, Bailey's General Store, Spoon Drift Island Bowls, Free Crafty Ladies and Gator, Eight, uh, Gator Bites Tail and Ale. Good one. <laughs> Thanks very much for joining us. Have a good one. I'm Nick. I'm Lori. I'm Max. Have a good one, guys. Thanks very much. Yeah, winner, winner, chicken.